Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about puppy or dog bandanas. And I've been really into this lately. I've been sort of in this do-it-yourself DIY mode on finding the right prototype or what I like best. And I think I found it. So let me talk you through what I started and um, some options you can consider if you don't want to go out and just buy one. Uh, if you do not have any sewing skills, and depending on how nice you want your bandana, that could be the deciding factor. So, um, let's start with this one. This is a little bandana I made. It's called, um, it's double-sided. It's kind of nice. It's small because it's two Pichon size. And what you do is you actually insert her leash in this little pocket here so that when you clip her leash, you clip it around her neck like that. She could just wear it like that. It's quite small, um, but it is very cute. I decided that I didn't like the idea of having to slip in her leash. I have two leashes, but one of the leashes has a cute little pattern with a bow and a bell. And while I could squish it in here just for her to wear, and I will at some point just for her to try this on, um, I decided I didn't want to have to deal with taking it on and off. But I, I really like this cloth. I think it's very versatile. Um, it's I bought it at Hobby Lobby. And um, I think I got what they call a fat quarter or a square of the material. And I can um, list the dimensions next time for you in the link in the comments below or the description below. So then... Um, so that's the first one, the first option, which is to sort of put it in with a, your collar. It's cute. I think it's easy to work with. It's, I mean, in terms of just like the size and not having it move around a lot. This one, my mom was kind enough to make. It's a one-sided bandana. Um, I told her I wanted something sort of fall, and this is what she came up with. What's cool about it is that it's got these buckles, so you clip it around her neck. This thing is huge. <laughs> she didn't have my puppy to measure it, and maybe this is something Pichon will grow into, but I like the idea that it's adjustable. She made a smaller one that was blue with light blue with polka dots, also with a white buckle. Um, the thing I don't like about this is that uh, when you put it around her neck, you can actually see this white on, on the back of her neck, and it might shift shift around on her neck so sometimes this is in the back on the side or in the front but I like the idea that it's adjustable and that's kind of a nice feature I've seen ones that they sell on Amazon where it's just one buckle these buckles are pretty sturdy but I, I've also experienced working with buckles that are easy to rip off so something to keep in mind um, so that's this this one and this one you can also do double-sided you could make this strip um, the same color if you wanted to um, so this is option two um, the third option was actually through my pup box subscription I got this cute Halloween bandana square it's super light it's like a scarf and what you do is you actually just fold it in half like this and you roll it and you wrap it around her neck so that you have like the right size. Now you can also fold it in a, in quarters, but I found this to be just a tad small. So when I tied it around, it was it was really hard to knot it. So actually going double this way and just wrap rolling to wrap worked out well. This like it, again, it is it does shift on the front to the back, but it's so cute and festive. I didn't really care. She, she has a little knot on the side, so it looks very cute. Uh, on how she wears it, how and when she wears it. I don't know if I love like the eyeball with the witch hat. The doggy bones are cute, but it's just a very festive with very pretty, the right colors <laughs> for fall and Halloween, which I thought was great. So I actually like this more than I expected. Um, and then since I had some more of that fabric I really liked from um, Hobby Lobby, I decided I was gonna just make a, a triangle so that I could roll it and wrap it around her neck. Um, this is one-sided, but if you wanted, you could do double-sided. 
and if you wanted to do double sided with two different materials you could this is cotton it it feels nice it's washable it's you can iron it pretty easily it is definitely not as light as this this is polyester cotton um, so that's something to keep in mind. I mean, this isn't going to weigh her down too much, but it's just something I thought about, which is why I decided to go with one layer. And I thought I could make more. She has a sister uh, and a brother, so I thought it would be cute to have them matching. My sewing skills. I do not have a sewing machine, so this is terrible sewing, to be honest. Um, but it works. I just hand sewed it. It's not a lot of time. Um, so that's fine. There are many techniques to this. I did iron it first so that it was easier to just sew along, you know, sew along the, to get sort of that, sh the shape that I wanted and it didn't, um, fold back on me. Now there are many ways to do this and I will share a link of an article I came across that talks you through all the different ways. Some people don't even, um, sew it at all they just cut the fabric and they wrap it around their dog's neck and it's almost like a trend um for when when they when they're done with it they're done or they have multiple just because the cloth um is big enough to give them a, quite a few of the same color and you can also use a glue gun which i've also seen you can use iron um iron on type glue so you're not having to sew um, there's so many ways you could do it. So it's interesting. However, one you want, my mom, um, has really good sewing skills. <laughs> so this is why I went the sewing route and I don't have an iron, but I was able to borrow hers uh, for a brief period of time. Uh, I do need to get an iron, but, um, but yeah, it, I think it's easy enough. And I mean, this is really for me, so it'll be great just to have her. Uh, wear it and that'll be fun. I was thinking I'd do one for every season. We'll see how that goes um, And here I do have some more material that I was sort of cutting and messing with um, But yeah, so that's That's how you can um, make your own doggy bandanas. There are some really nice ones There are lots of different themes coffee theme Harry Potter theme um, Anything you can think of I'm sure it's out there and they range anywhere from I think I've seen $16 um, and the material seems nice so really up to you I, th I think I've maybe seen 10 I can I can say for sure I've seen 16 I, I, I've seen 10 as well so it's really up to you guys how much you want to spend which one you like um, I thought it was gonna be way easier and I'm sure if I just cut the fabric it would have been but since I wanted to sew it did take some more time and um, to prevent fraying I would say you could also use fabric glue just to keep it from fraying too much that is why I f folded in the edge to sew I didn't use fabric glue I just cut it and then you know hopefully it won't get too crazy with the with the fraying but yeah it's just fun and simple so something to do if you're interested in or not if you just want to buy it or you can be like my mom who doesn't believe in dressing up your dog and was kind of not only reluctant to make me a bandana, which is fair, um, has refused to make any more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, that is what I have on bandanas. And I think like when it comes to like this, it's like almost like a, a scarf, a human scarf. So if you find the right pattern, that you want for your dog or if you just have a ton of scarves that is a really easy way to to have a puppy bandana so that's all i have for that um take care and talk to you later bye